40 laps, $10,000. We are dancing at the Lake Ozark Speedway. Boyer Shirley with the drag race of the drag race of a one and two, and it's going to be Shirley with the lead down the back straightaway. Stovall trying to make it a three-car battle there for the third spot. Dennis Herb Jr., Frank Heckinus Jr., side by side for third. Down the front straightaway, Shirley going to lead lap one. Boyer behind with the 99 Jr., Frank Heckinus Jr. Here comes Stovall right around the outside of Dennis Herb Jr. They are side by side for that fourth position. Give it to Jesse Stovall down the back straightaway. Stovall working his way to the front. Woody Gundaker also in the move here at 11. Gordy going to side step for 28 to Dennis Herb Jr. That's a three car battle there for the fourth position. Jesse Snowball runs away with it down the back straight away. Dennis Herb has tried the bottom there in one and two. Snowball's going to try to get around him off of corner number four. Here comes Jesse Snowball in that double zero. Snowball trying to get around the 99 Jr. Frank Heckinus Jr. But it's still Brian Shirley, Billy Moyer, Frank Heckinus Jr. It's side by side for fourth now. Here comes the 11 to Gordy Gundaker. Gordy taking a look to the inside of Stoneball. They're door to door for fourth. Meanwhile, Hackenass Jr. running away with a trouble. Tony Jackson Jr. around in one and two, and that is going to draw the first yellow of this main event. 13 laps in, 27 to go, and it's Tony Jackson Jr. around in turns one and two. And it is going to be good. Here's we're back underway. Shirley right around the outside. Hackenass going down low. Moyer going to split them three wide for the lead. Here comes Moyer. He jumps to second, Hackenes runs third. The double zero of Jesse Stovall slides up the racetrack. Gordy Gundinger going to follow him there, and surely still leading at the line over Moyer and Frank Hackenes Jr. And the double zero of Jesse Stovall, the 11 of Gordy Gundinger, the number 28 of Dennis Herb Jr. with the 1B of Will Vaughn and the 50 of Caden Cornell. So battle for third, side by side, three car battle. Here comes Gordy. Gordy trying to make it here on the inside, down the front straightaway. Hackenes in the inside of the double zero of Stovall. That's the battle for the third spot, down the back straightaway. Side by side. So now more cars transitioning to the bottom of the racetrack. Off of turn number four. Here comes Billy Moyer. He'll go underneath the left rear quarter panel of Shirley. Slides back up, falls back in line. Behind the three is a Shirley. Moyer on the move. Two lap cars right there in front of him. Millard and the 3W Willer down the back straightaway. Can Moyer thrill in the three of Brian Shirley? Jesse Stoball still third, fourth, Hackett has fifth. Gordy Gundaker and Dennis Herb Jr. Gonna go to the inside of Gordy. That's the battle for fifth. Here comes the G-Man working his way to the front. So down the back straightaway, it's still Brian Shirley in that 3S as he has Millard to his inside and the number 3W of Willard to his inside as well. Down the front straightaway, Shirley gonna get around both of them. Looking good here with 15 laps to go. Snowball looking for second. He slides up. Moyer's right there. Enough room for Moyer to make some room down the back straightaway. He'll sidestep Snowball. They are side by side for second. Snowball slides up the racetrack. He'll take second at Jesse Snowball on the move. Frank Heckenes Jr. going to look to the inside of Billy Moyer. That's the battle there for the third position. Moyer going to go back to the inside of Snowball. They're side by side down the back straightaway. Snowball takes it back away. Hacking at fourth, Gordy Gundaker fifth off of turn number four. Brian Shirley still leads, and Jesse Snowball second. Moyer third, Hackenes digging down low. Now everyone going to the bottom. Let's see if and this bottom group could come in. Can Frank Hackenes Jr. make a move on the bottom? Off of, turn number off of four, Brian Shirley leads us with 11 trips to go. Snowball another excellent restart. He'll run second. He slides up Moyer right there to his inside. He'll sidestep him down the back straightaway. Can Moyer complete the pass? Stoball looking good in double zero. Moyer to his inside. Then you have Frank Heckenis Jr. with the 11 of Gordy Gundaker down the front straightaway. Jesse Stoball holds on to the second spot over Moyer. Moyer looking to his inside. Side by side there. Heckenis still running fourth. Fifth, the number 11 of Gordy Gundaker. And here comes Will Bott to his inside. But we have, our, we have ourselves a good battle for second. Billy Moyer throws the slider on the double zero of Stovall. Makes it stick down the front straight away. Moyer takes second from Stovall. They're side by side. Stovall now with another slide job in return there in one and two. And Stovall takes second down the back straight away. Him and Moyer, dynamite battle there for the second spot. Hackett has running fourth off the turn number four. It's still Shirley in 3S. The double zero of Stovall still in second. Moyer third, the 99 junior, Frank Hackett Jr. running fourth in the 11 of Gordy Gundaker, fifth with Dennis Herb Jr. sixth off of turn number four. This time, seven laps to go for Brian Shirley in 3S. The 
number double zero. Jesse Stovall still second with Billy Moyer third. Hackenes fourth, fifth. Forty Gunmaker three car battle for six. The current point leader looking very good here at the Lake Ozark Speedway. Down the back straightaway, Stovall still second, Moyer third. Hackenes in fourth. Forty Gundaker fifth. Off of corner number four. Last shot is going to come into play, but one to go. Ryan Shirley has been untouchable here in that rocket chassis. Number three, S. Durham powered from Chatham, Illinois. The point leader leads flag to flag to pick up his 28th career Hill Tour victory. Second will come to the 00 Jesse Stovall, the 21 of Billy Moyer, the 99 junior Frank Hackett Jr., and the 11 of 40 Gun Digger. That's your Chatham, Illinois. Let him hear you. They call him Squirrel Brian. Surely you're a winner here tonight at the Lake Ozark Speedway.